Yuan, who is the CEO of Unity Robotics and sharing your screen. Can you please share your screen? And oh, I show the. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm really honored to be here because, uh, uh sorry. Not to be here because of my visa, I can only take part in remotely and sorry for this. Unity Robotics is six years old and, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, oh, uh, today I will introduce you what we have done in the past uh, one year and what we are doing right now. Firstly, we released our Go One robot in the early June of last year. We have a test last year and its top speed can be reached uh, 4.7 meter per second. <sighs> the, the end of last year, our 200 Go One was doing group test. Uh, those go one in the former page also giving a show at the opening ceremony of the uh, 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. The most important feature of the go one is its low cost and bright weight design under of the parameter of the high performance. The war machine weighs about 12 kilograms, including a battery, and it's made of the plastic and die cost aluminum. Go One has several fishing eye binocular cameras developed by ourselves. It's the optical angle, uh, deepest map angle, image resolution, shadow type, and the baseline. Uh, here are deepest and RGB image of the single fishing binocular camera. Another important feature of the Go One, it can keep a company of two people side. That way, company has much better human computer interaction than normal ones. This is because people can't take notice of robot motion in real time in following mode. While in the lottery company mode, people can keep a track of it without too much attention, which greatly enhances the control of the robot. While in the literary accompaniment uh, and uh, in complicated situation, people can help a robot to make decisions like avoidance. The left in the uh, space antenna area on the hand of the robot, this is this. And the right is the target electronic tag uh, that people wear. <laughs> We also launched the new robot last year. This video is the first publication. Please enjoy. This is another video. <laughs> the biggest feature of the B1 is the joint motor. It is an integrated joint unit with high protection, waterproof joint, the maximum torque 114 Nm. B1 has an additional reduced structure on its neural joint, similar to that of the Go1, and a, a waterproof structure. It's in additional reduced is this, uh, is this, and uh, the waterproof structure. The maximum torque 210 Nm. At the end of last year, we also launched a flexible robot arm, uh, meant for four-legged robot as a mechanical arm. Of course, it itself also can be used alone. This is the user arm to open the door. Uh, and uh, other video. 
The parameters of the XM are shown in the picture. The biggest feature is one, small and flexible, lightweight, two. So the whole machine has a mechanical hand with uh, eight thermal joint unit, greatly reduce the cost and the practical difficult, practical uh, difficult. And uh, this uh, joint uh, is the uh, same. We hope this uh, robotic arm can play a greater role as a replacement for human hands. This is joint unit of Z1. We use a motor embedded harmonic reduced structure, uh, greatly reduce the exercise size of the joint unit. This is a steel wheel, flexible wheel, and the motor rod and the motor state, and is the flexible boring. Last month, we had released an intelligent fitness product based on our robotic joint technology, the intelligent polar pump. Mobile robots are mainly composed of three aspects. As for actual category, I started with the BRDC motor controlled by FOC when I delivered the x -Dog as early as in 2014. So far, it's almost as good as it gets. Performance is also good enough. Uh, in terms of the controls, the current control, uh, control algorithm based on MPC and uh, AI has also shown good performance wide weight. But for mobile robot uh, perceptions, in the past many years, it has been too complicated and not uh, very ideal in practice. We have developed a very special a uh, new sensor uh, that has solved the same problem we have had uh, with robot perceptions in the past. Its the biggest uh, character is the super wide perception view because you know, large angle of view similar to the human's eyes that can direct, directly see the large angle of the view in the real time rather than accurately building a map of the what you see in the past uh, with a small angle of view. Compared with the character with the multi camera and the high computing power requirement uh, perception uh, planning, the cost, uh, complex city, and the uh, unreliability of the wide view and greatly reduced. This is the sensor, Unity 3D Super Sensor Ladder. Uh, it's a scan model used to access and the point cloud density distance and the LiDAR. LiDAR wavelengths, uh, it's very small. This is 3D scan, the deeper point of color data can be directly pointed and displayed without using any mapping algorithm. But this way, in most uh, motion planning and the real-time optic avoidance, the algorithm difficult and the computing power requirement can be greatly reduced and the reliability of the how machine, how system can be improved. Uh, directly output the point. This is the uh, ladder. This leader is also low cost. Uh, here shows its internal structure. This leader not only can suit for four legged robot, but also for many other robots. This is a laser receiver lamp. Uh, this is a laser emitter. This is a reflection mirror. And the BIDC. Photo electronic coding desk and the rotator seat. We hope to promote robot to join people's living life. Thank you all. I hope my presentation can be something valuable for you. Thanks. This is the end. Maybe I can start with the first question. What are the first applications that you're targeting with the big robots? 
What are the first applications that you are targeting with the big role that you show? Uh, please repeat, rephrase your question. I'm, I'm writing it. Actually, Dimitri wrote it. Can you read the comment? It's in there. Comment? Uh, yeah. Which comment? In the chat. Or what are the first applications that you're targeting with the big role? Uh, I, I, I can't really hear you clearly. <laughs> Anybody speaks maybe uh, Mandarin or Chinese that can translate would be awesome. Is this microphone working better? Can you hear me from here? The question is, what are the first applications for the V1, the large robot? Yes, thank you. To be the deacon, you know, you don't know what we're saying. The B1 the Hua to us in the chance or in the chair to the Hong in the chair, Shinjia, the letter sitting up. Can you respond in English for the audience here? Yeah, yeah, it's inspection. The answer is inspection, right? <laughs> You mentioned the other source. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 you want to raise the question? And uh, for inspecting things in factories and everything like that. Oh. Yeah. There's a content. Yeah. There's two factories. There's two factories. I guess inspection. Yeah. Oh. Jonathan, maybe you can ask. I can ask a question. We'll, we'll see if this works. Um, so I noticed in one of those videos, you had a bunch of fabric sleeves on those arms. And I wondered if those fabric sleeves are for waterproofing or weatherproofing, or if you use the sliding bearing seals everywhere. That's probably a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we will stop here. Thank you. Wait, wait a second. Oh, so tall. Sleep. Uh, this is used to protect the robot in the test to prevent fall damage. Uh, we use these uh, uh, sleeves to protect our robot uh, during testing. Okay, thank you. Um, Poster guys, where are you? Um